According to an organization called RAIN, an anti-sexual violence organization, reported that every 107 seconds an American is raped. To hear these types of statistics is really, really heartbreaking, and it begs the question, why are these so often? Today I want to claim that social media has a big impact on the rape culture. Rape culture is a term coined by feminists in the 1970s to express how society criticizes many rape victims. Today, this definition has expanded and shows that there's more influence with social media and how society plays a part in this culture, whether it be directly or indirectly. Another statistic according to Rain, one out of six women have experienced attempted or completed rape, and 97% of the rapists are unconvicted and never seen in a jail. Unfortunately, these numbers are very high, and however, society plays a major part in assistance. We have these set standards where men feel that they have to meet this hyper-masculinity standard, the fact that they need to feel that they have power, and that it is okay for them to have sex, and that it is acceptable. Women, however, are seen as submissive and inferior, and these types of views validate this type of rape culture, and society will excuse these offenders for their unjust actions, blaming women for their sexual appearance, playing the hard to get role, and being sexually objectified in the media. Frank Bruni, a journalist for the New York Times, writes an article called The Roots for Rape. He states, it's not DNA we're up against, it's movies matter and set of movies, magnified in a world of military and sports that signs different roles and different words to men and women. Again, this continues to follow this idea of social media as a participant in rape culture and following the social stratifications. An example of this type of um, rape culture seen in, our t in today's world is at the Ohio University. Kelsey Kennedy, re Kelsey Kennedy reports in an article, social media perpetuates rape culture where pics and videos were taken and placed on Instagram and Twitter, and um, it was showing disturbing pictures of a boy and a woman, and um, it, all, these, all these posts were ending in hashtag college, implying that this is a norm in college life and everyday um, happenings. BuzzFeed captured these photos before they were viral, um, taken down, and this became viral, and many social media pl places like Facebook and Twitter um, <coughs> reposted these, and many people commented saying that it was her mistake and her fault for um, being put, putting herself in that position. This is a prime example of how rape culture can become really ugly and re-victimize a victim. BuzzFeed may not have intentionally posted these photos for criticism, but happened, but happened having to hurt the victim of these photos. Um, furthermore, the number of the hashtag college um, hashtag for <laughs> these photos made it seem a normal occurrence in everyday college life, which is not right. And by doing so, it's dismissing the cruel acts and allowing this to continue to happen, especially in colleges where girls and women are often raped. These social norms are twisted and need to be readjusted quickly because it is not right. And as, so, as a society, we need to find ways shaming victims is nonsensical and barbaric. This must be changed. It makes a society seem like unjust people. And as a whole, we need to fight against this great culture and find a positive solution for the